buonasera, signorina, buonasera. It is time to say goodnight to Napoli. Though it's hard for us to whisper buonasera with that old moon above the Mediterranean Sea. In the morning, signorina, we'll go walking where the mountains help the moon come into sight. And by the little jewelry shop we'll stop and linger While I buy a wedding ring for your finger In the meantime let me tell you that I love you Buonasera signorina, kiss me goodnight Buonasera signorina Dude! Dude, I didn't, I didn't mean to, I tripped. You freaking killed him! Can He's we dead. Can we still use the body? No, we can't use the body. I mean, he's got a brother, right? Buonasera, signorina, buonasera. It is time to say goodnight to Napoli. Though it's hard for us to whisper buonasera With that old moon above the Mediterranean Sea In the morning, signorina, we'll go walking Where the mountains help the moon come into sight And by the little jewelry shop we'll stop and linger While I buy a wedding ring for your finger In the meantime, let me tell you that I love you Buonasera, signorina, kiss me goodnight. Buonasera, signorina, kiss me goodnight. Buonasera, signorina. Buonasera. Uh, where am I? Shut up! We're the ones asking the question to you. Do you have any idea who you're messing with? Do you know who my grandfather is? Yeah, we know who he is. And that's where you're gonna tell us exactly what we want to know. And if you don't, your pep pap's gonna get his grandson back chopped up into tiny little pieces. <laughs> you think you can kill me? If you kill me, Luciano will have both of you dead before the week's done. <laughs> Oh, oh, big man making big threats, huh? Ah! You don't know write a check you can't cash. Maybe if you knew that, we wouldn't have to come pluck you up off the side of the street. Cut the hell. Oh, well, we'll see you there. And maybe we'll bring your wife and kid along and have us a little barbecue. You know, I saw a family reunion. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> Show him. Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Kaylee was texting me. Can you text her later? I mean, yeah, but if she doesn't hear from me for a while, she gets all worked up and anxious, and it's just a mess. I don't care. Pull up the fucking picture. Fine. You bastards. That's right, asshole. We know where your family is. If you don't do exactly what we say, then I swear I'm gonna... I, uh, think you got a message. Can she not wait a goddamn hour? Listen, you know how she gets. You keep going, and I'll jump back in a sec. Look, I'm not gonna beat around the bush with you. Mr. Gambino put his faith in you. Now, he actually trusted you. He don't do that with nobody. You know what you did? Huh? You know what you did? You fucked up. That's what you fucking did. He thought you was little cash cow. But this cash cow moved out on us when you still owe us two million dollars. And now, the milkman wants his milk. The milkman? Yeah, the milkman. 
The milkman delivers the milk. It's a metaphor. What's well, a shitty metaphor? It doesn't make any sense. Well, it doesn't have to make sense. Look, look, where the fuck is our money? Look, okay, I can get it to you in a few days from now. I just need a little bit of time. You've been saying a few days now for a few days now, and now time's up. I want my money, or else the milkman's gonna have to come down here and milk this cash cow dry! Oh. What was that? Oh, it's just a snap to Kaylee. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it? You're sending evidence to some bitch I've never even met. Hey, give me your phone. She's not a bitch. She's actually pretty cool. I don't care. Delete that shit or I will. Give me your phone. Fine. You've got to be shitting me. Look, I told her I would call her when I was done with work. But you're not done with work. She doesn't know that. Then let her know so we can get our money and drop this asshole like we did his brother. Dropped who? Shut up! All right, give me a minute. Hey babe, I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of something. No, this is really important. I've got to focus on work. Listen, I'm gonna make a lot of fucking cheese off this. I don't know why we're talking about the milkman. Yeah, I know the milkman delivers the milk. Yes, I can pick up some milk on the way home. But I have to change first. Cause I'm dressed like a goddamn bank robber, that's why. Talk to you in what way? I'm not yelling, you just got me worked up! If you're gonna argue, can you do it outside? All right. Listen, I'll pick up the milk, and then when I get home, I'll... <clears throat> so, do we want to wait for him, or do we want to continue? Uh, no. It's okay. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure! No. You owe us money, but you're a businessman. So, let's do business. Now, I know you have some more money hidden away somewhere. All you have to do is tell me where and how to get it. It's that easy. It's not that simple. Well, why the hell not? I can't just make money up here. I don't have a pile of money in some storage unit. As soon as I start taking out money, someone's gonna notice. And that leads to me, which leads to you. And then we're both dead men. Well, the way I see it, you're already a dead man walking. Uh... Hey, boss. What? Do you think it'd be okay if, uh, Kaylee came to see what we were up to? <sighs> Jesus, hey, fuck! Are you serious? We're trying to get something done here. Look, she's just really curious about the whole crime thing, you know? She sounds a little clingy to me. Why don't you shut the fuck up? No, Jeremy. He has a point. So you're gonna take his side now? Ever since he started dating this girl, you've just become sloppy. He used to be my go-to guy. I could count on him for anything. Hell, Gambino's about to start giving him jobs of his own. He was? Yeah, he was. But then he started dating this girl. And you're always texting her on your phone and whatnot. Making jobs messy. Do you know how many people I've had to shoot in the back just because they heard us say your name on the speakerphone? Four! I'm sorry, man. She just really likes to talk to me. It's not just that. You spend all of your time with her. What was the last time you had time for me, huh? Well, the boys. What was the last time you watched Dougal together? You don't have time for anything anymore. <laughs> Look. I think you and your girl need to talk. You know, have a real talk. In this age of technology, it's easier than ever to communicate with people. But it doesn't always mean the communication is meaningful, you know? You can talk to someone all the time and you just keep talking and talking. And once you start talking constantly, it becomes a habit. And when it becomes a habit, it becomes a chore. And then it loses all meaning. And I don't want that for you. And it can get in the way of your jobs and your relationships. And I want you to ask yourself, is this taking priority in my life? I'm not saying you need to break up with her or anything drastic like that. She sounds very nice. But I think you need to recognize that you're your own man. And both of you need some space sometimes to be your own people. 
You know, you're right. I fucking love Dougal, man. There you go. Thank you. I think I really needed someone to just talk to me straight. Group hug? Group hug. Even me? Yeah, even you. Bring it in. Now, what are we gonna do about this bozo? Look, it's clear to me that you and Kaya need to go have a talk. So go. Go to her. I've got this handled. Good luck, buddy. Now as for you. You helped my friend out today. So for that, I'm gonna go easy on you. No, no, no. Wait, wait. No, no. That's not what we- wait. Ah! Where's our fucking money, huh? Get to your money. Ah! Speak up, cash cow. Ah! How about you move to me, huh? Move! That's a little louder than that. Yeah, I can hear you. Who's the milkman, huh? I'm the milkman. Goddamn right, I'm the milkman.